Hello guys, this is Alex from Proper Banners. In this tutorial, you will learn how to build hand-coded double-click video ads. Here's what you will learn. How to set up a HTML5 video ad for double-click. How to encode video files. What is required for a double-click video ad. How to add basic interactivity. And the double-click studio workflow. Let's keep this example simple and quick. The task is to build a video ad, which is basically an intro video that will have a call to action on the last frame. This needs to be built for double click. Sublime Text is the most used text editor for coding nowadays. There we're gonna create a new file, start typing the HTML tag and click the out of view suggestion. This creates the basic structure instantly. Let's add the following. The double click enabler from the support page, a link to our style sheet, the CSS file, a div called add container that will contain the video and the exit button, and the JavaScript file to control add. Setting up the CSS file. Define the add dimensions and set the click through button style. In this case, the cursor we will set as pointer and the background as transparent. Setting up the JavaScript file. Here's where the fun begins. Get the code from double click to start with. The code loads the enabler and makes sure our ad is ready to go. We can then have our ad beginning and our video playing. Let's have a look at our video files. Export your video as a H.264 MOV file. Use Miro Converter for quicker transcoding of the video file. You will need the WebM, the OGG and the MP4 extensions. For simplicity, let's use the video's poster image as the backup image. Make sure the file weight is less than 40k. Now that we have our files, let's set up the video tag with the right paths and file names. You can use folders if you want. We need to add the tracking code from double click for our video ad to work smoothly. In the support pages, you can easily find this to copy. Always remember to check the naming. It's best practice to wait for the video to finish before having any interactivity. When the video ended event is triggered, the video automatically freeze on the last frame. You can then add the event listener for the click through button functionality. Add the enable exit command and you're ready to test. I recommend using Chrome to test your ad. The developer tools are better and easier to use. By right-clicking the ad, select Inspect and check for errors in the console panel. Most of the times, you will have errors because of file name and paths. We can test our event listeners by trying to click the ad whilst the intro is still playing. You will see the enable exit won't be triggered. Once your ad is working as planned, you need to test it on double click. Log into your double click account, create or select an advertiser in a campaign, create a new ad, and in Finder, zip your build folder and upload it to DC. Make sure the preview tab is working, otherwise, you must have missed something. Check if the click through is, is correctly tracked and preview the ad. Now you're ready to add enhancements or publish your video ad. Thanks again for watching, please leave your any comments or suggestions below and visit the blog post about this video to download the files.